All right, welcome to the after party, folks. <laughs> Long time no see. So, what'd you guys think? Did you guys have fun? Did you guys like the box break? How'd that go? Did you guys enjoy it? Any feedback? Any suggestions? If anyone's wondering why I make two streams, firstly, just because if someone stumbles upon the video at some point, you know, maybe they look up Japanese, you know, Neo Genesis break, whatever it may be, kind of wanted to keep it a little short and sort of streamlined for any, you know, future viewers, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so pretty insane. So three Lugias, three Typhlosions. Wow. That says, ah, long time to see. After party, right. <laughs> so that was pretty good. You got to figure out that pole thing. Yeah, Paul, what is that? We can try looking at that now. What is that? <laughs> so in the future, you can do a pole for each. Yeah, so Paul, I have no clue even what that is. Is that? Let me see. Widgets. Stream label. Alert. No. I'm still chasing the hollows out from Evo. Someone hooked me up. Seeing, yeah, dude, Rand, Evo's has really gone out of hand. I honestly do not suggest buying Evo's, to be quite frank. Um, it is just a little too much. Evo's is a little too much, in my opinion. Would not suggest buying it, but I do have a little bit. So, do you have any Vivid? Uh, Jake, I don't. I do have a little bit, but I don't. I'll take 100. I actually have very little supply of Shining Legends. Probably less than 20 packs, if someone's being for real. No, Nick, Team Up has not come yet. Tarbet, what's up, brother? How you doing? How long will the stream be Poke Adam? Not that long. All right, so give me one sec. Let me just clean up as well. So, if anyone wants to get their cards express graded, it is $90 a card. PSA Express takes about a month and a little bit. It's like a month and a week. But if you guys did miss it, I did open up that Pichu and the Banmu Milk. I am super stoked on those pulls, to be honest. So let me just clean up the table, and then uh, we'll be good. And so Squirtle, you sent over 50. So Squirtle, how about two Evos for the giveaway? How does that sound? Matt says, I am super new to this. How would I go about having my order shipped? Yo, Matt, if you're part if you're part of the break, you don't even need to uh, even request it. So I'm going to get everyone in the break shipped automatically, just because obviously it's a vintage break. But for your bag, for like if you do purchase packs on the stream, uh, the way to get shipped is to go to Discord in the request shipping channel. Um, and that's it. You just got to leave a message in the request shipping channel. See, so yeah, just give me one moment as I clean up from the box break. All right, so we are all cleaned up. So, he says, sounds good. Okay, cool. All right, so already in tonight's giveaway at the end of the stream, we got two Evos packs and a pack Fresh Blossom. That is insane. That is really generous of you to put in there, man. So, if you want to take it back, B-Roy, just let me know, all right? Make sure you let me know, because that is actually pretty insane to give away. So I pulled the hollow Zart. Taylor, nice. Taylor, how you doing? 
Make sure you note that I paid for shipping. Yeah, B-Roy, you're all set. If you were a part of the box break, you are all set. All right, so let's begin. So, Michael, you're actually first, and you got it. You want to upgrade to Shining Legends. We got you two Mewtwo packs, so hopefully you know what that means. Hopefully you know what that means. Trust says Cash App. Unfortunately, I don't. Trust says I'm doing good. Taylor, pretty good, Taylor. We just broke open that Neo Genesis box, so that was pretty good. Oscar, do you get deals? Oscar, I don't even have that many booster boxes left. I only have booster boxes of Darkness, Ablaze, and Unified Minds. Michael and a Marsh Shadow and a Warp Energy. You should take Game Stocks. <laughs> no, I would never. Sorry about that. Oof, there's a lot of F's. All right. Up next, we got green. Chanel, what's up? Chanel, you missed it. Chanel, we just finished breaking the Neo uh, Neo Genesis Japanese. It was nuts. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Evos pulls. Yeah, absolutely. No, Rand, I totally agree. That's why I say don't buy Evos. It's not really worth it. Unless you pull a Charizard and it grades like a nine. <laughs> not really worth it. He says, oh, green, I see that. All right, green, I see your next order right next to it was Unified Minds. But I don't think your next order was next to it, so I'll have to wait. One, two, four, six, and eight. Wow, perfect. Perfect amount left in that box. Squirrel says, I told me, yo, Squirtle, yeah, Squirtle, no need to, Squirtle, just sit back and relax, Squirtle, just enjoy the show, Squirtle, and just think about that juicy Lugia. Alright, here we go, green, that was pretty insane, guys, three Lugias, three T17s, and our first pack, oh, is a Charizard Brexin, oh man, alright, 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 I'm liking it. What is the Chase Garden Champion's path? It is the Charizard. So the Shiny Charizard and the Charizard VMAX. Pat, what's up? He says, hey, so this is the after party at? Pat, welcome to the after party. And we got a Chaotic and a Drampa. Amir, what's up, brother? How you doing? Amir, you just missed it. We just opened up the Japanese Neo Genesis. Oh, Rainbow. Let's do it. 
And it is a Reshiram and Zekrom Rainbow Rare. Green, nice. Alright, green. That is awesome. Nice. And we got the Gallade character rare. Very nice as well. Amir says Habibi. Amir. Plip plop and McCargo. Do you have an order list? I gotta go through soon. Yeah, I can read off the next couple of people after this pack. After these packs. Also, guys, we are not going to stream as long as we usually do because we just stream for a pretty long time for the Neo Gen break. So if you are planning on getting cards today, I would say probably just order it like now if you can because I will probably close orders soon. Ish. <laughs> Keller with the Mod Wrench. What is up, Keller? How's it going? Carvana and a Fiel. All right, now let's hop into your unified minds. We've got Joltik and a Nagnadel. <laughs> I see, he says we are all mods. Jake says, I think I'm going to save my money. Yeah, go for it. Vivid's getting insane. So if you can find it, even the blisters are probably your best bet for Vivid. Insane. The problem with Vivid is they've been pushing back the print for it just like over and over again. So like, ooh, by the time we get a new batch of Vivid, ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Neuvern and Mishurna. Keller is a mod in training. I like that. Sneasel and a Zerkatry. I don't see my son Liam. Liam was here earlier. He was here earlier. Pikachu, Lucario. And a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Very nice. So guys, I will be shipping out uh, the vintage box break orders pretty pretty quickly. So if there's anything that you, you know, anything you want to get great or anything like that. I guess sort of bring it to my attention sooner than later because I will probably just start shipping all the vintage stuff like starting tomorrow. So green, not bad at all. Mike says, do you check your PMs before shipping mine? Um, Mike, is it personal? If it's personal, Mike, sure. If it's just a general question, Mike, just send, tell me it now. Just tell me it now. If it's something that you don't mind sharing with the rest of the people, you can just ask now instead of me checking it out. I just liked them, Keller. Mr. Raikou, nice name, dude. All right, up next, we got Joseph. He says, five hidden fates. He says, let's keep the party going. Joseph, I like it. All right, my hands are freezing. We got to pull some fire, Joseph, to heat these up. Heat these up a little bit. You guys are awesome. Good luck on your packs. Green, thanks. Uh, thank you guys breaking my heart. I can't be with her. She's doing better. Karen, hopefully your friend gets better as well. I know how sad that can be as well. But yeah, hopefully hopefully a speedy recovery. Good bite. He says Orlis. Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot. I got you next time. Hopefully I remember. I don't know how I always forget that. Fire energy and a Snorlax. 
I uh, just want to know if you thought the Alakazam from Thursday and the Mag uh, Meganium from tonight are worthy of express grading. So, Mike, I'll put it this way. With express grading, it's so expensive that it really kind of depends on your, your, your take on it, right? If you're trying to get those cards to then get and sell for profit, honestly, bulk might not be bad because realistically, when it comes back in a year... Oh, here we go. Gold card. Tapu... Oh, shit. Dude, is my boy Matt in the house? Because, dude, you guys know what, what that means. Tapu Lele, the next pack was a Charizard. This happened twice in a row. Oh, snap. That might be a good omen. But very nice. So, so Joseph, pulling out the gold card. Oh, yeah, Icy's here too. Icy did that as well. Oh, and Matt's here as well. So you guys saw that. So, Joseph, those are your five packs. And obviously, if someone else in line has that Hidden Fates, they are getting it. Jeez, dude, my hands are so cold. Sorry if I'm moving slow. Oh, my God. It's getting cold here on the East Coast. Amir says I definitely was here, too. <laughs> hey, Lil J, what's up, brother? He says I'm a little late. Lil J, we just finished opening up our Neo Genesis box. All right, so let me give you guys a um, cue list as well. Um, low my young mod <laughs> freezing here in NC. Yeah, winter storm approaching dude We we were gonna have like a snowstorm, but honestly it wasn't that bad All right guys the queue list we got Kyle then we got Nick then we got Amanda then we got green Then we got Victor Mike Wesley Brent Eduardo Jose Cherisee Andrew And a little bit more above that He says, skip to the next head of face back. <laughs> Chanel says, I can do the cue for you. Chanel, if you want to. Chanel, if you want to, that'd be awesome. All right, up next, we got Kyle. He says, one chumps. Mr. Riker says, any good pulls? Dude, we got three Lugias and three T17s. Kakuna and Marnie. So, yes, awesome pulls. The box is very good, actually. And I think we pulled like 11 or 13 band cards. Snap. All right, our next order is actually Nick with two hidden fates. Oh, man. Nick, you got to live up to the standards here, Nick. We just pulled a gold tapu. We got to get you a Charizard now, Nick. Good luck. Are you still using the new? Yes, little J, I am. No, we got a star meat. Maybe the next one. That's like drum roll. The Zara says you just got to chug it truly. And a Guzzy. So you did get Guzzed. Jake's like, damn, the bait. Well, dude, it's happened twice in a row. The last two Zards we pulled were, were off the Tapu.
All right. So, dude, I have so much shipping to do. <laughs> I got also the add all the box stuff and then everyone's regular stuff too. Okay, up next, we got Amanda, six, sword, and shield. Amanda, let's do it. It says, we, yes, I see. I don't think we have. Right, says, how's the line looking, Brandon? About like 10, 15 orders. We're going to keep the stream pretty short tonight. Air balloon and the Cinderace. How's your late, uh, how late you going today? Yeah, Antique, not very late. Calvio. Can you pull a Chunky Chew? No, Andrew, you cannot. Chunky Chew is out of Vivid. You're the only Pokemon streamer I can watch without cringing. Yo, LJ, thanks. <laughs> I I, I, thanks. I'm glad I don't make it cringe. This site should definitely check out my Discord message. Okay, yeah, it's Taylor. If it's something that um, is just like a question, you can feel free to ask now. If it's something more private, then you'll have to wait till I can uh, check it after the stream. Okay, double Keldeos. Wow. Double Keldeo for Amanda. Okay, double Keldeo power. All right, then we got Green sending over five for the giveaway. Green, thank you. Great, we're gonna throw a sword and shield for the giveaway for that. So thank you, Green. Also, Koki, if you're here tonight, Koki, let me know. Because Koki, I owe you some sword and shield packs. Hey, we got my man Victor. He says two Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold Victor. It's that time again. guys we keep everything here fun positive and hopefully forward looking so none of that shit is acceptable all right if i see any of that shit i'm gonna stop the middle of the packs and ban the shit out of you so don't say stuff like that okay victor two Yu-Gi-Oh go Alright, Vic, let's do it. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. Just, um, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. I think we all learned that when we were younger, right? Oh. I can rehear myself lecturing. Nice. Okay. So, Vic, let's go with the left side. Such a force how they do it with these boxes. Oh, 
All right. I said, do you have any Digimon, dude? Icy, I don't, man. I really wish I bought Digimon because recently I've been hearing that it's actually getting it's getting more expensive and harder to find. But no, I don't have any Digimon. I really should have bought some. I really should have. I am kind of being myself that I didn't. We got Cosmo, Dark Destroyer, and a House Dragon Maid. So Victor pulling out the waifus. House Dragon. Andrew said way younger. Right. <laughs> exactly. All right, Victor. Let's do it. Chaos Dragon, Levenir, and a Elder Entity. I seen a couple starter decks today that was worth anything. What kind of starter decks are you talking about? Depends. Yeah, exactly what Squirtle said. People are ignorant. It's over. Just don't become like that. You know, that's like a, just being a sour person. Alright, up next, we got my man Mike. He says, one Shining Legends. Mike, maybe we get you a different pack. So, Mike, I'll let you make the choice. This pack, I don't think it's damaged, but it's a little looking like a little bent. So, Mike, would you rather prefer a new pack? Check that out. It's actually kind of gnarly. Looking a little gnarly, Genesect. Hopefully nothing happened to him. But yeah, I'd rather just open up a new pack than this one possibly being damaged. Do you think Evolution will hold their value even if there is a future reprint? Oh, if there's a future reprint, of course it'll go down. That that's, goes with anything. This guy, yeah, of course, Mike, of course. Alright, Mike, switch it to the Rayquaza pack. Let's do it. Any Shining Legend pack is gold. Yes. Green says, did I miss my green? I don't think so. The last green, the last payment I had from you was for the giveaway. Or the last order, I should say. Zorowark! Do I ship to Mexico? Yeah, I do, but you have to pay for the shipping. So I've actually never shipped to Mexico before, oddly enough. Alright, up next we got Wellesley. He says 10 champs trash. Wellesley, hopefully you're not a chump today. Oh, guess what's a nut? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Because Wellesley, that's what we can say it over here. Chumps path. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Alright. Fox says, hey, I'm back. Don't know if you remember me. Yes. West Coast says the stream is looking crisp and sounds like it's a it's an HD. Nice upgrades. Yeah, so that was actually to the thanks of both Squirtle and Pat. So Pat and Squirtle actually sent you guys both gifts. So hopefully those arrive soon. And um, yeah, be on the lookout for those gifts. So thank you guys very, very much. Know that I greatly appreciate you guys. And I sent you guys something nice. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Champ and Scrappy. Rotom phone, Scrappy. Okay, a lot of Scrappies. Eddie, what's up, brother? He says, how was the Shining? Yo, Eddie, it was actually pretty good. We pulled three Lugias and three T17s. I live in the US right now, but I was thinking of moving back to Mexico. Really? Manny, how's it like in Mexico? You like it better there? You like it better than the US? Piers and Zygarde.
And we got a Dreadnought. All right. Okay, so come on, jumps bad, turn around. And a Graptalog. Mexico is cheap, but it's sketchy. <laughs> What's that straight chumped, Wes? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, kind of. But we got one more chance. Leaf and Refess Ref <laughs> Professor's Research. There we go. It's cool, but not enough Pokemon. <laughs> And yeah, so Wellesley, I know you're a little bit newer, so Wes, you're a little newer here. If you want your reverses and stuff like that, you absolutely can have them. Just make sure you note, you put that in your note, alright? Because I know not, a lot of people don't want them, but some people do. So if you are one that wants them, make sure you include that. Wes says donate them. Wes, thank you. Okay. Wes, very generous, man. So Wes just added two cards to the log giveaway. Okay, up next we got Brent. He wants two cosmic. Brent, let's do it. Chris says, oh no, I want the giveaway. <laughs> I'm exhausted and want to uh, stay for the giveaway to see who wins, but I'm going to pack it up now. Good luck on the polls. Squirtle, thanks for being a part of the box break, my friend. Have a very, very good night. Thanks for all the support that you show, and I'm very, very happy that you pulled out Lugia, my man. So have a good, good night, and sleep easy because your pulls are pretty good. Okay, so we got Weavile and Tangrowth and Fion. Alright, so, Alpha, there we go. Alright, up next, we got Eduardo. He says, Darkness. Eduardo, let's do it. I am, I'm reading, get unified minds. I'm trying out Evo Cam. Yo, Pat, everyone so is talking about Evo Cam. Bundle B and an upside down Darumanta. All right, up next, we got my man Jose. He says four vicious rejuvenation. Let's do it. Eddie says, you're still taking orders. Yes, Eddie, I am. Daniel, what's up? Daniel, I heard you got some cards on the way. Oh, wait, actually, speaking of which, I got some mail to open. So let's do that as well. So right after this, for Jose, we're going to take a small little break to open up some mail because I forgot I got some mail to open. After party? Yes, welcome to the after party. Also, Lil J asked about a face reveal. I'm actually, I have an interview that I did on Pokenomics with Jake and Rafi. Uh, where my face is there. Oh, Chanel. Let me answer the call, Chanel. My bad. And nice. We got a Gogeta Godspeed Demolisher. Whew. Just did you get my mail yet? Yeah, Jeff, I think you're one of them. Jeff, I think you are one of them. Yes. So, Jeff, we'll open up your package right now. Or right after this. All right. Vicious. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Oh, we got something good, I feel. Nice. Frieza and Cell, a match made in hell. 
Probably not smart to put on a trading card game that children might be playing for like, you know, parental reasons, but very cool card. And I need to run and grab some more sleeves, so give me one sec. Ms. Rogo says, lately I've been appreciating... Honestly, me too, bro. I've been like that for a while now. Alright. So, Almond. Man, these sleeves are icy. Ooh. Janemba. Must get tag team cards. Freeze and... Honestly, right, Nels? I was low-key thinking that. Oh, what we got here? Nice. Omega Shenron Special Rare Allies Absorbed. Nice. That is a good pull. Okay, Jesus, very nice, my friend. Very, very nice. Can't wait for Shining Fates, bro. Me neither. But, dude, Shining Fates is going to be so, so brutal. So brutal, man. It's not looking good. All right. So let's actually go into the first piece of mail. I'm actually going to open it off because the address is all over the place over here. So I didn't block it out. So let me open it. This one's coming from Vinyl Craze Gaming. The allocations, yeah, I know, Daniel, it's actually beyond, it's beyond tough, to be quite frank. All right. There we go. So these are coming from Vinyl Craze. Just a sorry for the bad... Jeff, it's alright. It's alright. Okay, very nice. Final Craze, I appreciate that. This tape is so easy to come off, so I appreciate that a ton. <laughs> Plug opening a bunch of Shiny Star V made me not as hyped for Shining Fates. Tom, that's actually a pretty... That's a pretty valid statement. I would, I would low-key pretty much agree with you. But, I, I'm saying that now, but as soon as I get Shining Fates in my hands and open it up, I'm sure I'll be as, as, pretty much just as excited. <laughs> for over 20? No, not over 20. Not over 20, for sure. I guess it kind of depends what happens. Definitely not at the beginning when I have the, the prices that I got. But if I end up using up all of that and then having to resort to the secondary marketplace to get them, then maybe. But I, I don't think 20 would ever. It's not, I don't think it's going to get to 20. All right, so we got, oh, nice, Special Delivery Pikachu and the Pikachu Full Art. So that Pikachu is pretty off-centered, so you can see right here, definitely a little thicker. 
Especially if Pikachu a little bit thicker on this side. Plus, these are actually very hard to grade. I see. He doesn't need it. That's true. I see. That's true as well. <laughs> that is true. He says, I pulled four Zards. Oh, that could do it too. <laughs> that could definitely do it. Okay, so vinyl. Two of your cards did arrive. Let's put those up for you. And we're going to take this Pika out. So instead of using tape, we're going to use an actual sleeve thing. They have those nice Pikas. Yeah, these are vinyl craze gamings. I saw that I, I saw that CGC like you put cardboard error bands on cars to ship. What do you think? Um, I guess I'm, I don't know why I'm confused, but I am a little confused. Um, in terms of shipping, yeah, if it's a really valuable card, you want to use either cardboard or bubble. So I used to do cardboard in between it, but now I use bubble pouches. Whoever is speaking Japanese, welcome. I'm trying to learn Japanese. Nice. <laughs> nice, Fox. That's nice. I wish I honestly... I wish I could speak like Japanese or Mandarin. That would be pretty dope. Maybe more Japanese because I watch anime. <laughs> Tenzerberg, he says, I just got back home. Um, Tenzerberg, we pulled three Lugias and three T17s. So we pulled three of each. It was really good. Like I um like they ask for you to use rubber bands instead of tape to secure for cardboard. Oh, you're talking about rubber bands? Oh yeah, rubber bands all the way. Rubber bands, or if you're gonna do tape, you can just do it on all four corners. Okay, up next we got Cherisy for Sun and Moon. And then, Jeff, we'll get right into your package. I totally forgot. <laughs> Cherisee, we'll get you, and then we're going to get into Jeff's packages. 7500 bucks. You guess how old I am. Stene and a Serena. Oh, wow. Three Lugias. I uh, got to watch the polls later. Must have been hype. Dude, it was amazing. And we pulled... um, We pulled... Uh, what's it called? Three T17s as well. Poliwhirl. Parasect. And we got Polyrath. Okay, so Cherisee, a little, a little bit of an eh. Okay, up next, we got Andrew. He says, two Darks of Blaze, one Champ's Path, and one Vicious Rejuve. Andrew, let's do it. He says, why no codes in chat? You can put codes in the chat. You just can't spam them. So if you're trying to, like, transfer mad codes, I'd rather you just put that in Discord. No need to spam the live chat. We got Piccolo. I hope, um, I know I got a Slow King, which is one of the main cards I wanted. Matt, I think you did pretty good. I remember you got a Feraligator 2. What else? 
I'm pretty stoked. I ended up getting a Pichu, so I was pretty happy with that. Cal says, yo, Kyle, we actually already opened up your pack. So, Kyle, I think you had gotten one chump's path, Kyle, and it was cold. Yeah, so, Kyle, I think we're already, the reason why is because we opened up your first order already. And a Spinarak and an Aceligor. All right. So, Andrew, Vickavolt coming on out. All right, I'm next. We got a package coming up from Jeff. So, Jeff, let's see it. So, Jeff, just like the other one, I'm going to open it up um, off stream just a little bit so I don't reveal your uh, address. Jeff, let's take a look. There we go. Yeah, I think that might be it. All right. Sorry for the no pull tabs. Eight cards total. Thank you. Oh wow, you got a nice, you got a Pokemon notepad, nice. Baron says, passing out for the last day of duck season tomorrow. Have a great night. Yo, Baron, have fun hunting those ducks, my friend. The last day, so live it up. Baron, thanks for stopping by. Dude, my knife won't even cut tape anymore. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. All right. Nessa. We got two Charizards. Oh boy. All right. All right. So let's just do that. I'm actually going to throw away this top loader, but let's get your Charizards out first. A little bit thicker there. A little bit thicker there as well. Ooh, another Charizard. Nice. And Nessa. Gardevoir. Ooh, Umbreon. Nice. Centering actually looks pretty decent on the Umbreon. 
Yes, this looks like yes, Daniel. That's why I got it, dude. It looked like a karambit, dude. This thing, this thing sucked, but it looks so freaking cool. This thing got dull so quick. I don't know if I'm just gonna buy a better knife again or just get like a sharpener, one of those sharpener things. Fox is gonna head out. Good night, and pulls. Yo, Fox, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Good luck on your Japanese learning. Alright, so Jeff, let's do it up. Cram it for the name. Dude, it's honestly, it, it was so dope. I, I was thinking about trying to learn, like, knife juggles and whatnot, but dude, I, I'm too I'm too scared. <laughs> Buy a Cartana? Let me know your thoughts. So, if the card is um, double-sleeved, I don't really want to take it out of the sleeve, Jeff. I try to touch the cards as, as minimal as possible. But for instance, this Greninja, it's a lot thicker on this side. So I'd probably tell you this Greninja will probably get a 9. So I don't think this one will pull a 10, unfortunately, because look how look how off-centered it is. So it's very, very thick here and very thin here. So I wouldn't think this, this Greninja would get a 10. So Jeff, there, if there is a card that you want me to send back instead of going to Express, feel free to let me know and I will um, do that. But yes, if the card comes in a clear sleeve, I can absolutely just take a look. But I don't really like to touch people's cards because, you know. <laughs> so put that Greninja. Okay. And then your Snorlax from the front. It actually doesn't look too bad. It's a tiny bit thicker here for sure. Gardevoir is pretty good. Gardevoir is good. No new knife. Have you seen him use one? No, 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 nope. And yeah, so honestly, with the Charizards, even if they come back a 9, I don't think that would be a bad thing. So as long as the Charizards don't look at, like, 8s, I don't think it's terrible, even if they do end up coming back a 9. So I still think the, like, the Charizard VMAX and whatnot are probably still worth it to try and get the 10, because if they come back a 9, I don't think you lose. Although I haven't been keeping up with the prices, so fair enough. <laughs> On the, uh, Charizards. Our girl Nessa! Not bad, actually. A little bit thicker on this side. So yeah, you can actually tell it's a little tilted, so it goes up a little bit. Okay, and you want the Greninja to go in your bag. I did the two packs um, of wine on your wheel. I pulled a CP6 and a Mew. Jeff, nice, dude. I saw this, dude. That video with your son was amazing, dude. So good, good stuff on uploading that. So, Jeff, just to verify with you, you want everything sent aside from the Greninja, right? Is that what we're is that what we're dealing with? Look at all them chickens! Them fire chickens. So are those cards for express grading? Yes, Jarek, these are for express. Our next express goes out in about a week. Terry says, I know I hate blood. I don't actually really hate blood. I'm okay with blood. My own blood, though, I just don't want to bleed. <laughs> Alright, so that was it. Just the little two little pieces of mail that we had for Express. So those are all added to the Express. So, Jeff, I'm going to put the Greninja into your bag, and then you're all set. So that's going out uh, the upcoming Monday. So not this Monday, but the upcoming Monday. Monday after next. We're just grading now. We're starting on time. Yeah, so Chanel Express is 90 a card, and it takes about a month and a week. So about like a, a little over a month for Express. 
And for bulk submissions, I am I partnered up with Clay, so I think we're just gonna stick with CGC. Okay, so Jeff, very nice. I'm gonna tag that over here, and that's going out with the next express. And let's put the Greninja in your bag. And actually, Jeff, I think I shipped out your bag, so I'm going to put this with your um, your vintage pull. PSA bulks now. PSA bulk just takes so long. That's the problem. Okay, next we got green three shine leggings. I'm gonna put that Dennis Jeff away because I don't think that's gonna work for him again. But <laughs> okay, green, let's do it. Three shining of the legends. How dare you make me bleed my own blood? I'll send you two more by Monday. Okay. So yeah, Jeff, no rush. You know, you still have time because it's be like another week, so you don't have to send it like with any priority or anything like that. I got mine out of the four stem packs. Uh, I might send some cards next month. Yeah, Jarek, whenever you want. And we got a Mewtwo. I have so many cards now, I think I'm going to hold off on Express. And we got a Raichu. All right. So, yeah. So, Express is usually best for certain cards that you want to sort of get to the market quick. So, like, for instance, like Charizard VMAX, that's something that you want to express right away. All right. So, green. Let's pop these in here. And your hits. All right, up next, we got Mike. He says three maximum gold. Mike, let's do it. What's the advantage of setting grading cards for you instead of sending it to PSA? Well, I guess a couple advantages. If you're only sending in like one or two cards to PSA, after you pay for insurance and shipping, it'll actually be cheaper to send through me. But if you're going to send a massive amount of cards to PSA yourself, then it's not bad to do it yourself. And the other advantage, I suppose, would be one, you don't have to do anything other than ship it to me. And um, you get to see your cards back in the group submission. All right, Mike, let's do it. All right, here we go. Those alternative arts? Yeah, Chanel. Those got me excited. Those got me excited. We got Beatrice, the Lady of the Eternal, and a Dark Rebellion XYZ. Today, I opened four evolution packs, and I got a Raichu Hollow and two Mega... Nice, Mega Blastoise. Very good. Dark Rebellion. Blue eyes or bust. Well, Dark Magician's pretty cool too. It was what happened to cause the Eclipse and Hidden Fates. And we got a Harpy's Feather Duster and a Fantastical Dragon Phantasmic.
So these cards are awesome, dude, Daniel. I like this set the most because it's actually kind of nostalgic. So like you can actually see the old um, the old cards. We actually also have a new Yu-Gi-Oh set. We have Genesis Impact. So if anyone does want Genesis Impact, we do have those available. And those are the, that set actually has collector rares in it. We got Alistair, the Invoker, and a Red Eyes Black Dragon. There it is. Shout out to Joey Wheeler. Don't forget about the Red Eyes. Yo, Raikou, right as I read that, don't forget about the Red Eyes. Here he is. We did not forget about him. Wait, which one? Genesis Impact? Yes, this box. Right here. Okay, so Mike, very, very nice, pulling out the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay, up next we got Jose. He says, hi, I'm new. One Phantom, one Vicious, and one Champs. Okay. Just bought me some Blazing Vortex Booster Box today. Yeah, so dude, Daniel, I'm not actually very honestly familiar um, with the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. The new Yu-Gi-Oh. The old Yu-Gi-Oh I know because I used to actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. Karen says, are you getting more Vivid Voltage? Aaron, uh, Karen, I am getting a little bit more, um, but I won't have cheap Vivid Voltage for a while until the new print comes. So I am going to get more Vivid, but it won't be honestly that great. Because, yeah, who knows when this new print's coming out with the way Pokemon keeps delaying their stuff, so... All right, let's do it. We got a nice mix of everything. All right, Jose, let's start with your Yu-Gi-Oh. The voltage prices are just unreal. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But Amir, it kind of makes sense at the same time because the Pokemon company is not... Well, they are printing more, but they keep delaying it. So it was supposed to come at the beginning of January. Now they're saying it's going to come at the beginning of... Or middle of February. Um, but then again, they might even <laughs> push that back. So who really knows? And we got a Kabu and a Machamp. All right, now on to your Vicious. Saber Soccer, my kids are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! more now than Pokemon. Yeah, so Daniel, it's kind of one of those things where it was like, well, I, I guess I can't speak about that at present day Yu-Gi-Oh! But Yu-Gi-Oh! used to make so much more sense than Pokemon, like... Yu-Gi-Oh! was hella fun to play. And, oh! Special Rare, Frieza, and Cell. Like we were saying, the Tag Team card. Very nice, Jose. Question, what are the costs, or do you know anything in the Nintendo Pokemon base set packs? Uh, Jeff, it's actually very all over the place, because remember all the hype that happened? I have not kept up with the prices if they've moved up or down. So I'm not actually sure anymore, because there was a huge, massive hype, um, and then it sort of, I don't know if it's died down or not, I haven't really been keeping up, but I think a lot of the PSA prices have gone down, 
But the vintage is usually different, because sealed never... I mean, it does go down from time to time, but... But yeah, so Jeff, I guess sh long, long, uh, short answer is I guess I don't know. All right, up next, we got Zach. He says five unified mops. All right, so brand new box. You get stuck with the generation that played it originally. Well, I mean, they're making you Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like the anime. Alright, Zach, five brand new fresh unified minds. Let's do it. I pulled a gold hound doom out of a Japanese battle styles. Ooh, nice. I actually haven't opened up um, any of the Japanese battle styles. They split them into two boxes, which, you know, they usually do. Among Us and a Hone Edge. Can't even find the pink shoe. Green, that full art shoe is... That, I feel like it's harder to pull in the rainbow. <laughs> and we got a Heatran. Oh, gold card. And it's a... Nice. Dude, I really considered buying all of the gold, like, balls. They had gold. They have the Cherish Ball. They have the Quick Ball, Nest Ball, Dive Ball. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, last pack magic for you, Zach. All right, Zach. Very nice pulls, my friend. Wait, I think you got another Heatran in there. Alright, up next we got Steven. He says three vicious and one darkness. Steven, let's do it. This is my first gold card. Really? Well, dude, Cherish Ball is pretty sweet. I like it's all red and decked out, so it's very, very nice. Alright. Steven, let's do it. God pack. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh, we got Spatial Transmission. Imagine finding Magic Allure packs. Yeah, that would be nice. Honestly, I'd want to find Legend of Blue Eyes. That is amazing. Legend of Blue Eyes. Whew. Yamcha. Righteous Onslaught. So yeah, finding Magic Ruler would be better than finding Spell Ruler. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, we got Pukahan. Flawless technique. Alright. One darkness of blows. And we got Darumakatan and a Scavalier.
Porter, how's it going, my friend? He says, any unbroken bonds left? Uh, Porter, I actually do have a couple, so I can check. He says, it's three. Okay, Stephen, let's do it. I want a tune, dude. Yeah, Summon Skull is legendary, dude. Whew. Love Summon Skull. I really like um, Dark Magician Girl too. We got my. Oh, here we go. Deadly Defender Android 18. In our next quiz, will you put Dragon Ball Z in? Ooh, Jeff, that's a good one. So I am actually working on another quiz. If you guys have any suggestions for type of questions, let me know. Oh, Shenron the Wish Granter. Do you have any more Dragon Ball Z Brazilian? Ah, Cherisy, let me check. Let me check. I don't think I do, but let me double check for you. And we got a Super 17. There we go. So someone up our shot in Legends. Just a second, Steven, no problem, my friend. I messed up, so all good. Alright, up next, we got my man John. He says, one hit face tin. Can you check out my Lugia? Yes. All right, so John, firstly, let me actually see if I have any face things for this too. I haven't actually done so many. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so Porter, I have four unbroken bonds left. Okay, so John, let's check out your Lugia. All right, so unfortunately, your Lugia is definitely a little OC. Let's see if I can get it real close, real nice up and close. So Lugia is definitely a little OC. You can see right here, it's definitely a bit thicker. Checking out the back, this side is also a little bit thicker. So I'd probably expect a PSA 9 on this puppy. Oh, you can see me. What's up? <laughs> All right. So yeah, here's your Lugia. And yeah, definitely a little bit thicker on this side for sure. So the Ganyum, Band, and the Lugia. Alright, but now let's get to your face tits. Porter says I ordered them. Okay. 
Chuck says, Lugia. Lug yeah. Demi says, did you see the PMs? Demi, I did not see any PMs. All right. All right, let's do it. And guys, if you guys do want to get an order in tonight, uh, make sure you guys place that order now because I'm probably going to stop accepting orders right after we open up this one. And we got Giovanni, Jesse, and James. How are them? Okay, Porter, you got it. It's me, Jose. Can I have all my Dragon Ball Z cards? Ah, uh, you cannot, unfortunately. Just the hits. Ekans and Mewtwo. That's no, still sick, dude, John. It is very, very sick. Even if it pulls a 9, still an amazingly expensive card. Hidden Fates, open up! There we go. Maybe it has something good in it. And Lieutenant Surge and a Jolteon. I'm about to cheat for a quiz. It might need to be noticed. Demi, I really just don't think anybody would do it. <laughs> Bill's analysis and an Eevee. Wow. All right, John, that tin was kind of yikes. John, I'm just going to stick that in with your uh, Neo Pulse. Okay, we got Norma, two Vichy Rejuvenation, and a Zacian Zamazenta box. So, Norma, just want to double check with you. You know that you're only going to get the packs and the promos, right? Not the whole box. So, the whole point of it being cheaper is because I'm going to open it on stream. So, just make sure you're okay with that. So, you'll get all the packs opened, the promos, if you really want, like, the coins and whatnot, like, comes with it, but not the whole box. That box is huge. Yeah, okay, you guys, give me one sec. Let's do the grading on the Lugia though. Yeah, so John, I offer PSA Express, it's $90. So John, if you want to do that, you can. You don't actually have to pay for it now either. Um, but John, let me know, okay? All right, and let's get to two wishes of Okay, so let's hop into Dragon Ball Z first. So for those who are asking, this is the Zam Zashian and Zamazenta Premium Box. We're actually gonna open that up for you right now so you guys can see if you haven't seen that opened yet. Matt says, yeah, Matt. Oh, you're good, Matt. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you're good. Face revealed through the reflection of the box. Well, dude, my face has already been revealed. So if you guys want to see what I look like, check my friend uh, Jake over at Pokenomics with Jake and Rafi where he interviewed me. And um, yeah, you can see my face. All right. And oh, here we go. Oh, Oceanus Shenron, the Aniomancer. Okay. This is true. Basically a face cam. Well, yeah, in that video, I'm literally using my face cam. <laughs> All right. All right, now let's hop into the Zashian and Zamazenta box. So I got that one. <laughs> Bogey Adam, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. All right. Let's look at how your face. Ah, uh, no, actually, I don't really mind showing my face. It's more so just that we stream for very, very long hours. <laughs> and uh, imagine uh, sort of keeping your composure for like six hours straight. It's kind of rough. All right. 
So I've actually never even opened up one of these myself. <laughs> so we'll, this will be a learning experience for us both. Here we go. Ooh, check that out. That is pretty dope. Let's put your hips over here so I don't hit them. Plot twist, he's a Geodude. <laughs> Damn, son. This is cool. What's up here? A pamphlet. And a series player's guide. What the hell is in here? All right, we'll leave that up there. There's a code card as well. So here is a code card for anyone that plays the online game. Can I pay you to ship me one of those sealed? Well, Alpha, these things are huge, man. So I sell these for 150 bro. Shipping, I think I shipped one recently it, to California. It was like $20. <laughs> so that's why um, having it open live and you just get the stuff is kind of the benefit there. All right, there's got, these got to come out, right? Maybe they don't. <laughs> yeah, let's put that player's guide back in. But yeah, I mean, theoretically, it looks really cool, but I don't really understand how much stuff you could actually store in here. All right, so our first one, what we got? Got the metal die. Damn, these are actually pretty heavy. All right. Four Darkness Ablaze, four Rebel Clash, and looks to be some dividers. Do you have any Japanese packs? Carlos, I don't. Got some sleeves. We got four Sword and Shield. Oh, the Probos! So here is our Zacian. And let's pull out our Zamazenta while we're at it. Okay, so Zacian and Zamazenta Golds. Very nice. So they actually delayed the release on these to basically for um, uh, poor, poor quality. Oh, damn, they give you two packs of sleeves and the set that we really want the four vicious or four uh, vivid voltage and also comes with one of these a little gold coin the package of the promo is like poop yeah there's they sort of are just like thrown in there all right so that is these dude this thing is so heavy holy shit All right, so Leonardo, we got you two, and there should be four of each set in here. So very, very nice. Let's take a tr stroll down 2020, which is probably one of the worst games. All right, let's do it. My hits from those were lacking. When is Shiny V coming in? Be right, it's coming from Japan. So to be quite frank, it's probably gonna be still a while because it takes forever to get stuff from Japan. Vivid Voltage. I missed out on the nice box. And we got Manetric and Executor. Yeah, so that box weighs like six pounds alone. It's pretty nuts. B Drill and Waylord. So yeah, so talking about keeping this sealed, honestly, it's not a bad idea because realistically what it means is you kind of have a diverse portfolio, right? So you literally have four packs from each of the 2020 sets. So let's just say somehow randomly Rebel Trash becomes Rebel Popular, right? And Rebel Clash goes up super, super high in price. This box has one fourth of it is Rebel Clash. You know what I mean? So it's kind of nice in the sense that you're spreading out your, your uh, investment, if that makes sense. Rookie D and Whimsicott. And we got a Slowbro. Are you selling these boxes? Yeah. But, um, not, I'm also kind of wanting to hold on to them. Yo, Polish Rob, what's up, brother? How you doing? Rare Fossil, Corviknight. Do you think those promos are worth grading? Um, honestly, Leonardo, I haven't checked on the prices for it, but we can take a look at the condition of it. 
Why do people hate Rebel Clash so much? Well, to be quite frank, I don't really think there's any super spectacular Pokemon in it. It's mostly trainers, right? So you're looking for, uh, I think what it's Frost Moth is like the best Pokemon, I guess. And then you're looking for bosses orders. So I think a lot of people don't like it because of the hits, really. Oh, we got a Phalanx. Two more Rebel Clash. Zamazenta and our boy Shucky. All right, one last pack. Corsola and a Rune Rigus. It says ridiculous that people love and they pull. Honestly, you're not wrong, <laughs> and you're not wrong actually. To be quite frank, I never really thought about it that way. All right, so let's take a quick look at your promos. So looking right off the jump, man, it is thick on this side. So check it out. So it does look like both promos are pretty thicky on the lefty. So I'll put them like this. So, shut down. Definitely a little bit thicker on this side. Max says, yep, mine's cut the same way. <laughs> and he says, pretty thicky. But I will say that they did a pretty good job, even though it was put in there kind of shittily. There's only one white spot over there. So that's good. But my main concern would actually just be the centering, where it's very, very thick on that side. So I don't know if it's worth expressing if it's going to come back like a 9, because then I don't know how much the 9 is. Talk is most used to here we go and to be quite i know i do have a lot of uh, a lot of sayings i suppose <laughs> but hey to be quite frank Water says we all have phrases. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you just kind of develop that over time. Okay, brand new. Here we go. Five sun and moon. Dude, Polish Rob, how are you feeling about Vivid Voltage, bro? I'm I'm actually genuinely kind of upset because I feel like it's it's really just not healthy, man. Things are going up so fast, so quick. It's just not good. Like, how are we going to get new people into the hobby if everything is just super expensive? Beast says sell looking promos. No, the promos look sweet. They just did a pretty bad job printing them. Parasect. But if you guys did miss it, we opened up our Japanese Neo Genesis box break literally right before this. Oh, here we go. Please be an energy. And no, it's a nest ball, which is honestly just as great. Brandon, very, very nice. Nest ball. All right, saved. Twitter for a shiny phase ETV, I'm ready to throw up. <sighs> dude, I know. And the allocations are very, very shitty, dude. So it's like, especially like for my channel, I'm not gonna be able to get enough hidden or shining fates to meet the demand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vivid at 200, bro. Polish Rob, it's more than that now, dude. It is bad. All 
All right, up next, we got green, 18, sun and moon. Let's do it. All right, green, let's do it. Magahita and Gold Duck. This says, I'm glad I pre-ordered three. Jeff, that's good. That's good. Oh, here we go. And we got our boy Incineroar. All right, so we need to get you that gold, full art gold energy. Those cards are super, super nice. Gold Duck, Crocodile. Bad timing too on the 25th year, Nick. Actually, that's kind of true. But I do think that the 25th anniversary stuff will probably be cheap. <laughs> Doesn't seem that exciting. It's almost 350. No way. <laughs> Is it really? Holy crap. Um, some of my booster packs at Cracker Barrel called my local one seven eight dollar a pack for vivid voltage. At this rate, we'll be able to trade the Lugia I got today for one shiny Fatesy. I, dude, if that's the crazy thing, is modern is like sort of overshadowing vintage prices almost, dude. It's kind of crazy. Makes no sense. I remember walking in two months after release and getting a broken bond at 75 a box. Dude, wow. Double Incineroar. Green, I feel like... No, it was Amanda that pulled double Keldeo, and now we're pulling double Incineroar. Nuts. But yeah, so it's pretty crazy. I mean, you know, there's obviously a lot more demand, but ooh, Pokemon's got to keep printing, man. They got to keep it printing. Corsola and Beware. I traded all my Magic the Gathering bulk for Vivaldi's booster boxes when it first came out. And nice, we got an Espeon. No Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon. Modern is basically crapping on vintage. That's why I'm buying a ton of vintage and EX cards now. Well, when it comes to vintage, I don't know. I, I have a hard time believing in the like middle sets. EX cards under EX cards are pretty dope, especially because they started with like um like le uh, fire red, leaf green, and stuff. So those are pretty dope. Firo and a situi. What sucks is having to charge higher prices, but with the market and scarcity, there's no choice. Exactly. Exactly. That's what. That's where I'm upset because, dude, like, you know, a couple months ago, I was charging, like, $3 for some of these packs. But it's just, like, I just simply can't get those prices anymore, you know? And it kind of sucks because, like... Oh, here we go. Green. 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 And it's a gumshoes. We got Trump Jr. in the house. Shining Legend needs a reprint. Well, honestly, yes and no. I feel like at some point, a set is four years old. Like, leave it alone. You know what I mean? Leave it alone. Let it sort of age and become, like, hopefully expensive. Because you don't want things to get too overprinted. You still want things to sort of retain value, right? But if things are just getting reprinted four years later, like, come on. Sorry, I smacked the mic. Gotta pay to play. <laughs> pay to win. <laughs> what sucks is how distributors are asking, the, are shorting the stores and charging them these ridiculous marked up prices. So stores are focused to close in the scalper market. Well, dude, Paul, a lot of a lot of distributors are actually holding on to shit too because what ends up happening is they it's like everything's going up. And they're not stupid. You know what I mean? They're not stupid. They're also trying to make as much money as they can, too. So, these cards are super underrated, especially the full art textured ones. Okay, green. Very nice. Gumshoes coming out at the end to save it. I asked for the rainbow green. You did, and you got it.
All right, up next, we got Jarek. He says two sword and shield, two darkness, a balls, and one hidden dates. Jarek's taking me on a date, guys. He says Trump Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Black and white, uh, low pop report, it's the next to go. So, alright, so when I when I talk about the middle sets, I have very mixed feelings on it because I didn't play during the middle sets. I didn't collect during the middle sets. So for me, there's almost no nostalgia at all. Um, and when I think about, you know, the popularity of Pokemon during those times, I don't think it was very high. So it kind of begs the question, like, who wants the black, you know, who's going to be the end buyer for the, you know, black and white era and etc.? Which is why I, I can't, it's more so like vintage and new stuff. And when I think about it, like Hidden Fates, I think Hidden Fates is going to do better than, you know, the middle sets. Just because like, dude, I don't know. More people will like Hidden Fates, if that makes sense, compared to these sets. Jerk says, Jack, you got it. Jerk, sorry about those. We're kind of cold. Ah, uh, yes, Jarek, the man with the red name, super, super easy to find. I love it. All right, up next, we got my main squeeze, Niles, with three chumps. If you were a trading card vendor right now, you could sit on shit and be a millionaire next year. Piers and Zygarde. Paul, which is basically what they're doing. For me, black and white has nostalgia because I started collecting during that era. Nice, so Lance, see, exactly. So you would be the person who would be the end buyer. So that's good to see, good to hear. Is 6K right now, black and white is not the best, but Pokemon, uh, but couldn't we say the same for the E-Series? Talk about a rough time with Pokemon. You know, you know, you know, Honestly, that's a very good that's a very good statement as well. I just feel like it's a little different cuz like when so, when you if you think about like Aquapolis and you know actually not not even that. Like you think of like Emerald and Ruby. I don't know. Like I was playing Emerald and Ruby, you know? All right, Niles Venusaur going in. And yeah, so I guess that's a good point. <laughs> Niles says, new Zard on Niles. Champion's Path is the hardest. Matt says, it's my birthday today. I can buy if I want to. Two Shining Legends snag me a shiny Matt. Okay, Matt, let's get you that birthday look. We got you a Ray Ray and a Mewtwo pack. Squirtle, what's up? He says he's still going. Uh, Squirtle, we're not accepting new orders, but we're still, we still got a, a decent amount in the line. We got Mewtwo. Black and white secret rares are fire. So I stopped playing the video games with um, Diamond and Pearl. So like Palkia, Dialga is kind of where I, where I ended my journey. Emerald, um, what a game. I got every Pokemon there. Dude, Emerald was my favorite game, bro. The Battle Frontier was nuts. All right, so Matt pulling out the Mewtwo. All right, up next, we got my man, Andrew. He says, one hidden fates, one darks of blaze, and one darks of blaze for the giveaway. 
Andrew, thank you very much for that, my friend. All right, good luck. I think we can all agree. What's up, Sagar? I missed you just Any Lugias? Yes, Layla. We pulled three of them. Three Lugias and three Typhlosions. I think we can all agree that Watsi is the best era. If we can tell you how many Skyrims I passed up on as a young adult. Oof. Rob. Oof. <laughs> the Blast Dice for Plaza Storm is one of my dream cards. Alright, so Andrew snagging that psychic. Alright, up next we got my man Peter. Peter, are we gonna be first pack or last pack magic today? <laughs> Yo, can I buy some packs? Ah, Diego, unfortunately, we are done accepting orders for tonight. Uh, we just did a Japanese Neo Genesis box break, and then just a short little stream. Uh, but we're gonna end. Uh, we're done taking orders, unfortunately. Here we go. Ooh, Solgaleo and Lunala. And then you can see Lily in the back there, so maybe this gets the waifu tax. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. I'll trade you 15 AMC stock. <laughs> Black Kyrum and a Whale Rum. Okay, so Peter, I think you were the middle pack there. Do you accept Dogecoin? <laughs> no, I don't. Just hardcore US dollars. Hey, Jacob, what's up? He says I'll do 10 sword and shield. Have you ever dreamed of opening Pokemon cards? Porter, I have dreamed of pulling extremely expensive cards. Yes, yes, I have. I'm not afraid to admit. Okay, back again. Got my camera working now. I can do live streams. Yo, Pat, nice. So, Pat, you're using EpoCam? Dodgecoin profits funded by Lucario collection. <laughs> and we got our homie, Stan Jarner. Where'd you get that Rayquaza canvas? That was actually gifted to me by my friend Philip, who is here on the Neo Brick. But yeah, my good friend Philip gifted that to me. Um, I don't know, but the way you crack packs has me wanting to try that method. Um, I do the pop and snap. Wait, what do you mean pop and snap? Pop and snap? So what, like... Oh, like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Rob, you gotta try my method, man. Rob, look. <laughs> All right, Rob, don't click off. Don't click off yet. <laughs> Middle pack today. That's a new one, Peter. I know. <laughs> Peter, you got You're a man of many talents. So, okay, any slabs for sale? Eddie, I don't have any slabs for sale, unfortunately. Okay, Galdio. You got to grab lower on the pack. I tried so many times some of the packs where he makes it look a lot easier than it seems. Dude, I love when you guys talk about the way I open packs. It makes it feel so special. And we got Wulu, Thievul. Sogger trained with monks in the mountains to open up packs like that, didn't you know? Dude, Keyshawn, you tell him. The monks were hard on me, man. I had to do I had to do uh thumb 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 benching. Rhyperior and a Corviknight. Alright, so Sword and Shield looking like it got tired out. Evo Cam seemed to finally work and give me the bet. Oh, nice! So, Pat, you're using your phone to record, huh? I feel like that. I feel like. Don't you have really nice cameras, Pat? All 
right. So, Jacob, let's get all these in your baggie. Bong, what's up, my friend? He says, Pat, your videos have started popping up on recommendations. Sagar got them thumbs. The thumb is back. Clipped. <laughs> Don't clip me. Rob says, you made my method look rough. Yeah, honestly, Rob, that's probably true. That's probably true. All right, up next, we got my man, Eddie. He says, 10 unified minds. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. All right, Eddie, let's do it. Let's get that Mew and Mewtwo. He says, little thumb benching. Stop it, show off, <laughs> Karen. That's the one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Let me have it. Magnazone and Hone Edge. Grimsley and a Tapu Finny. I do. They're all for other angles. Going three out of four. Jesus, Pat. Pat, you're making us all look bad. Calm down. <laughs> Any interesting pulls today? Dude, Javier, you missed it. We opened up the Japanese Neo Genesis box. So, yes, we pulled three Lugias and three T-17s. So, yes, some really, really good pulls. Well, Javier, the Japanese box is a different video. So, I made a new uh, new stream for it. And a Umbreon and Darkrai. All right. I'm almost completed your pack opening course, Matt. <laughs> Matt, you come far, young one. Phone cameras are legit for streaming and vids. I know, actually, dude, I see, like, PokeRev uses this camera, his phone cam. Rev uses two iPhones for streams. Yeah, exactly, Pat. I was going to say. I was going to say. I have an iPhone 8, <laughs> so I don't think my camera's that good. Dragonair and Leopard. Wow, okay, only one hit out of that, Eddie. Okay, so Eddie, sheesh. But hey, I do gotta get you shipped out, my friend. You got a lot of good pulls here. Yo, Amazing Foods, what's up, homie? <laughs> he says, soccer, take your ass, don't ban. Okay, up next, I got my man Daniel. He says, three CP. All right, Daniel, let's make a chump. On oh, wow, three Gardevoirs. That's kind of cute. Soccer train with Goku? Dude, I trained with, I trained with everybody. Goku, then I went over and trained with Naruto a little bit. Malamar, Obstagoon. I don't trust no um, NDI with my Wi-Fi. I hardwire. Dude, I honestly should get hardwired soon as well. Daniel, those are kind of icy. But Daniel, I am looking forward to receiving your cards for the submission. Up next, we got my man Jeff. He says, Hidden Fades plus Tip. Jeff, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. Thanks. My iPhone doesn't want to connect my PC. My friend just typed me says she feel better and keep it. Oh, nice, Karen. That's good to hear. Very nice. Anyone else watch a lot, but never say much. Sour Dragon, what do you mean? I know who you are. You talk to me. All right, Jeff, come on. 
Wow. All right. Bills analysis and electrode hidden gates. Okay, Jeff, that was kind of icy. All right, up next, we got Ryan. He says three hidden fates, and I do indeed have a back. All right, good luck. This is a VPN. Um, cord might be busted. Sabrina suggestion, Jesse and James. He says, that's me. That's Ryan. Shiny pulls. Let's go. Clefairy and Butterfree. All right, come on. He's like, he knows me. And a route. So shiny baby route. Alright, so Ryan, check it out. Your last pull was the Gold Mount Cornet. All right, I'm next. We got my homie Gavin. He says two unified and one CP. Gavin, let's do it. Pokemon L says hello. Pokemon L, how you doing, my friend? Malamar and a Scrafty. I'll take a baby shiny. So cute. Oh, we got Latios. Karen says yes, they're cute. Uh, Jeff, is there a giveaway tonight? Yes, there is a giveaway tonight, Jeff. Cottony and Crustle. It's actually a very good one. It has a pack fresh blossom in it. Okay, Gavin pulling out the Latios. Okay, up next, we got my homie Kyle. He says five Phantom Rage. Okay, Kyle, let's do it. Starlight Rare inbound. Three, four, five. Pokemon L says, how much for three packs? Pokemon L, we are no longer accepting orders for the night, unfortunately, but you can check back tomorrow if you're so inclined. Javier says, no more CP6. Javier, we are out of CP6, unfortunately. We are out. And we got a Mutant Synthesis. Oh, Tri-Brigade Fractel. All right. So Amazing Foods, we opened up that Neo Gen box today. So that VOD's up on the channel if you did want to um, check out the hits. Pretty nice. Pretty damn nice. I was happy with the box. Mutant M05. He says, my bad, dude. <laughs> Pat. Pat's going deep. Wait, Rob, what box, which box did you open today? We got dual avatar feet. <laughs> Karen's like, well, Pat, you're first on the list with a random pick. Check it out. All right. Kyle, there you go. Shiny 
Chelsea says, yes, Chanel, every pack is done. We opened 59 packs. So yeah, Chanel, unfortunately, everything is gone. <laughs> if you guys remember last time, the Christmas song started playing. <laughs> Sagar hates Christmas confirmed. <laughs> All right, up next, we got my homie, Matt. He says, birthday Zard Snipe. Send reverses in the hollows, please. One Darkness Ablaze, one Champion's Path, one Inner Fates, and Matt, happy, happy birthday. I'm gonna add two extra Phantom Rage to your order. Happy birthday. Jingle Bells Remix. Jingle all the way. <laughs> Curious, I thought I was drunk. This is actually kind of lit, not gonna lie. Sogger equals Grinch. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my girlfriend loves Christmas music. She tortured me. Tortured me. We got Amazing Foods with a $10 super chat. He says, grind and honestly, the love and pursue is life. Amazing Foods, thank you so much for the $10 donut, my man. Thank you so much. Karen says, oh, I love Christmas. Yeah, but Karen, trust me. At some point, it's too much. It's too much. UA Hyper Stadium. Okay, now we're gonna hop right into your inner fates. This music is the best holiday music. Good for her. I will send her more just for you. Oh no, Karen. And you got guzzed. So Matt, happy, happy birthday. We got you a guzzy guzz. Absol, Obstagoon. Magic Lee says, Happy birthday! Swana and a Galissapod. If you says, Oh, love, brother, hit 100k subs, the fam got you, dude. Amazing. Thank you, brother. Thanks for being here most nights, too, dude. I appreciate that a lot. This is all mad hush. <laughs> okay, so Matt, get in the guzzy guzz. Guzzy guzz make you feel good. <laughs> Alright, we got Amanda. She says two more sword and shield. Amanda, let's do it. I'll let you know, open for Dragon Zelda. Makes me feel older. <laughs> Makes me feel older. <laughs> we will need a battle for the check mark soon. Sugar, give me a pack for the giveaway, brother. You got it. Slandit and a Gengar. A maximum goal to the giveaway because honestly I love that set.
Okay, then we got green sending him money for the express grade. So green, firstly, let's actually take a look at your type lotion. Okay, so check out your T17. Centering's actually not that terrible, but you can actually see that down here, it actually is a little bit thicker than it goes up. So it is a tiny bit slanted. Now, sometimes if the slant is not bad enough, it doesn't impact it too, too much. But when you look on the back, the slant is actually a lot more noticeable. So green, I would hope that this one still pulls a PSA 9. I wouldn't give you false hopes and say it's probably going to pull a 10 because it definitely is a little slanted. And it is a lot harder to get a 10 that most people will, will admit. On modern cards, it's not that bad. But with vintage stuff, they grade pretty harsh on those. But green, there is your T17. And let's get it in. And green, let me update the spreadsheet. Give me one sec. All right, up next, we got Judy, three hidden fates and six unified minds. We got a $5 super chat counter from Rob. He says, I meant to super chat this. Dragon's Exalted was, oh, Dragon's Exalted, okay. To answer your question, also ventures do a box trade, value for value, ooh, okay. Rob, most of the stuff that I do, I gotta warn you, is Japanese most of the time. So I do have to warn you, fair warning, it's mostly Japanese stuff. Also, Judy, I read your Discord message. Judy, I am no longer offering PSA bulk, just CGC. So I don't do PSA bulk anymore, Judy. It just takes too long. It's like a year. All right. Judy, here we go. He says, do you think any others will pull a 10? Uh, Green, I have to take a look. I have to take a look. Weakness energy and a salazzle. And thanks for the shout out, my friend. Sogar needed to change the silkies. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, I see it. Mewtwo and Mew GX. Very nice. Brother Saga, give me my CV6 pack for the giveaway. Amazing Foods, don't. <laughs> don't, dude. Don't do it. Wait, Amazing Foods, do I still have that? Or did I ship that out to you? Dwebble or Kangaskhan? Hopefully you get Last Pack Magic for your birthday. Gavin says, yes, Gavin, they were. Gavin, they were. Dragonair and Lucario. Sea times are fast right now. It's about like two months. All right, Judy, Mewtwo and Mew out of the Unified. He says, Old Love Brother, you still have it. Okay, Amazing Foods. Right after this one, we'll take a look. But, dude, I would say think about it. <laughs> it's a pretty expensive pack. He says, Break, not box. Some modern from... Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Rob, I'm already thinking big, man. No doubt, Charles. Blink of an eye, it feels like someone and months go by. Terrence says, no way! Mr. Mime, Jesse and James. Come on, Hidden Fates. Wake up! Come on, Hidden Fates. Give us a shiny. And Eevee and a Lapras. Eevee Lapras. How long till the sub you just sent out comes back? Um, Eddie, which one are you talking about? The Express? The Express that just got sent out is probably going to be in another, another month. Because it's at PSA. It's delivered, but not even worked on. So, probably another month. If I had to guess. It's okay, Stage. Give it to the birthday boy. Okay, Stage, give me one sec. Let me get all these hits in your bag. Gavin says, I was away from my phone. Yeah, so Gavin, we opened it up actually a while ago. I don't remember what you got, though, unfortunately. So I am just going to basically automatically ship in the next couple of days anyone who was in that box break. So I guess, like I said... If there's anything that you want to sort of get done before the box break, or I mean before I ship those out, make sure you let me know. He says, suddenly it's my birthday too. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so I guess Rob, what's... So yeah, so Rob, I guess you and I do it a little different, Rob, because I do just everything. So I don't, I guess, so yeah, so Rob, I guess give me, give me a proposal and I'll, I'll accept. <laughs> I'll accept. Okay, up next, we got Jose. He says, one Unified Minds, one Phantom, one Genesis, and one Vicious. Okay. Okay, so give me one sec. Let me grab two more boxes. So, Jose, we're actually going to open up two boxes, brand new. So, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Genesis Impact. So this one has these um, collector's rares. Yeah, Amazing Foods, I got you. I'll have to take a quick look, but we'll definitely add that to the giveaway if you want. If you want. There's always a chance to back out. So, we got Genesis Impact. We're going to grab you one pack. And then, of course, we also got Phantom Rage. My birthday is, in fact, 10 days. All right. Jose, let's do it. All right, we're going to start off with your Yu-Gi-Oh. So, Phantom Rage, we're looking for some Starlight Rares here. Virtual World Dragon, Juji, Juju, Juju. When you have time, can you look at the hollows I pull from tonight's break? I want to know your opinion on them. Yes, so Matthew, that type of stuff I'll do, but you got to remind me at the end while I run the giveaway, okay? And... 
an incapacitation chalice slime. Huh. So I've actually never opened up Genesis Impact. <laughs> I'm just going to throw all these in your bag because, quite frankly, I don't know <laughs> which one's the brand. <laughs> That's bad. We got a $15 super chat from my man Amazing Foods. He says, for sugar, now batch of garbage bags. <laughs> the server boost is almost gone. A lot more days. Denmei, I, ha I totally forgot about that Denmei. Thanks for reminding me. Holy shit. Damn me, I gotta check that out, dude, before it runs out. But yo, Amazing Foods, thank you so, so much. So yeah, so Amazing Foods, I don't know how you knew it, but I, I needed more bags, so thanks. <laughs> I need a more bag. All right. So, Jose, there we go. Okay, and let's quickly look for that CP6 pack. Okay, so Amazing Foods, I have one here for you that's open. All right, so Amazing Foods, I am like pretty positive you do not have a sealed one. <laughs> you either don't have one here or I shipped it to you. So yeah, Amazing Foods, I just don't think I have a sealed pack for you. I checked everywhere twice. So either you don't have a sealed pack or I shipped it to you. So Amazing Foods, let me know. Let me know. All 
All right, up next, we got my man Porter. He says four unbroken box. And we got Seal and a Sand Slash. Okay, Porter, four unbroken box. Flyger, Rhyperior. Oh, here we go. And we got the Persian. Favorite English set of all time. Oh, that's a tough one of all time. So I know my favorite Japanese one. That's VS series. My favorite English one. Whew. Man, that's rough. Maybe like Neo Destiny or one of the gyms. But like, and then I have different vintage and modern preferences too. <laughs> All right, up next, we got Steven. He says two, Revival, and one Vermillion. Oh, actually, I do have Vermillion. Let me see. Was it Easy Fun that I was asking? Easy Fun, I'm sorry. I forgot to count. I only have three, though. Four. Four? Yep, yep. Okay, but, Steven, let's not mess up this time. Two Miraculous Revival and one Vicious Rejuke. Cyrus says Team Rocket. A lot of people like Team Rocket. Tom says Expedition. Was Breaking Point garbage? Kinda. He says, oh yeah, how do I ship again? Yes, yeah, so Ethan, if you need to get your stuff shipped, head over to our Discord server and in the request shipping channel, just post a comment. It helps me out because then I can just right click and go to our messages and see everything that we've ever said to each other. So it helps me out a lot when I go to ship. Got Vegeta and an Omega Shenron. Nice. And we got our homie Vegeta. Okay, but how do I pay for shipping? Yeah, so Ethan, in the description, you can use either Venmo or PayPal. The, the email's there. It's the same email for both, Venmo or PayPal. Oblivious Rampage and a Frieza back from hell. I have two guys if we should break this Tuesday, so I'm nervous. Dude, good luck. If you pull that Zard, I'd be happy for you. So good luck. We got Yamcha, and behind him, Master Roshi, and fired up Super Saiyan, Son Gohan. He says, brother, you sound tired? That's grind. Yeah, so Amazing Foods, I checked. Amazing Foods, were you talking about a sealed CP6 or your one that you had open? Nine hundred and seventy five. Holy moly. All right, up next, we got Zach with one unified Zach. Good luck on the one pack. One pack magic. Where's the link? Ah, uh, Ethan, there's no link. There's an email. So you just got to send the money to that email. Okay, so Zach, that was kind of icy. Jesus says, for Yugi, have a good weekend, y'all. So Jesus, let me grab you a, a fresh box. So here we go. 
Zeus, a whole box of maximum gold. He says the one that I had open. Oh, okay, okay. Amazing food. I got you. Okay. Do we need to DM you on Discord or did the Google form from the break? The yes, dubstep. The Google form takes care of it. Um, as long as you set your full name, full address, and your email on there. And we got Chaos Dragon Levenier. So yeah, as long as um, you send all of that on the form, you should be all set. So Saga, for Expedition, you can still hit big without getting a Hollow Rare. I'm pretty sure, what, there's like Gengar, we got Constellar Pallades, and a Cosmo Town. Constellar Pallades. Are these popular? A Coney? I think so. I mean, I guess it's hard to say. I took a shower and woke up, so I died to do some work. So Squirtle, we have a couple orders left, and then we'll be done. Can't get over that pack. I know, Amanda. It's crazy. Solemn Judgment. And a Nerburu. Oh, wow. I don't think we've ever seen that one before. A Nibiru, the, prim the primal being. Wrapped like a present. Yeah. Presentation's pretty insane. Expeditions are also very distinctive. Um, love them in my binder from years back. Keith, how's it going, man? What's up? Alright. Zeus. And we got Parlor Dragon Maid and a anti magic arrows. Alright. Max says Nibiru? I think so. <laughs> I think so. The Yugo names are so hard. But yeah, so there are definitely some non hollow rares that are super expensive, but of course you always want the hollows. Because I think there's like Gengar, Charizard. The Kofari one's not as great. So that Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum Gold. Such a nice set, honestly. Such a nice Yu-Gi set. Alright, up next, we got my man Koki. He says five unified mines and the five sword and shield that I owe So let's take a look from here. Alright. Koki, here we go. So I'm gonna need sleep. Uh, little brother, you've been moving since the AF. <laughs> well, dude, that's always the case. That's always the case. All right, Koki, let's do it. So like, I think I might send promo for PSA. Leonardo, whatever you want, my friend, just know that it's very off-centered. I would, I would really, 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 really say it's not gonna be a 10. Like I am super confident that that card is not gonna pull a 10 unless your PSA grader comes into work like hungover. <laughs> And we got the Reggie Rock. Shining Gary at CGC. Wait, Squirrel, you sent your Shining Gyarados to CGC? Rhyhorn, Whimsicott. And we got Joltik and a Graptolog. Now on to the Unified Mats. 
I don't have legendary collection, dude. Legendary collection is probably my. Oh, that set. Damn. Now that you so you mentioned it, Matt. You're asking what's my favorite English set, dude. There's so many. Oh my god. Legendary collections is also such a banger. It's so hard to pick. I bought them from a friend who didn't really give me a discount. <laughs> Vascalin, Dragonite. And we got Crustle and Garvantula. Wow, okay, so Unified was kind of icy, Koki. And Sokoki, I just realized you're not even on the mod side of the table. Sokoki, we gotta move you over here. All right, we got Matt. He says two more birthday packs of Shining Legends. All right, Robert sent over money as well. He says three Sun and Moon for the giveaway and one Hidden Fates for Rob. So Rob, Robert, our mod, just bought you a Hidden Fates pack and he says good luck on your Zard hunt. All right, so that's going to be your Hidden Fates. But before that, Matt, we got you two Shining Legends. Let's kill it. We got Marsh, Double Marsh Shadow. Minin, Jinx. All right. Did I miss the reverse? Yo! Where's the rapper? No way. Dude, this can't be. I literally opened up the Raichu boxes myself. Now, let's open up you another Shining Legends pack. Shaman and Hoopa. Now we're going to open up you another one. Oh, that has a hit. Shining Raichu. That is so weird. 
No, they don't look resealed, which is the weird thing. But I always open them and put them right next to each other. So these came from the same box, which is why I'm looking at them. I mean, this doesn't really look resealed. It just looks bent. These are all the shiny lanterns I have left. Interesting. He says it happens, it happened to me. Well, no, the reason why I'm freaking out is because this actually happened before with Hidden Fates. But the Hidden Fates was absolutely tampered with. Okay, so first of all, Matt, let's just give you everything that we opened right now. So Matt, you're gonna get that shining Raichu. Give me one sec. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so Matt, I have no clue, but let's pop your Shining Raichu in your bag. So we're gonna give you that. Very strange. Because these look legit. Because usually they are, they're like that. Where they're stuck. This one's not. So I'm going to open this one for research. Okay, let's see. The moment of truth. Oh, shit! <laughs> nice! Dude, that vent pack had a shining Mew in it. Nice. Hey, I'll take it. Wow. All right. That's clutch. I have no clue. Matt, I have no clue. I really have no clue, Matt. I have no clue, but that was weird. And I'm telling you now, these ones look legit. They're usually like that. Huh. And then the one that looked the most suspicious had a shining mute. So, I don't know. I'm very skeptical skeptical, ever, ugh, skeptical ever since that one error happened. But it's it's just same thing with then. Back then, I would say it never could have happened because I opened up the tins myself. Same thing with this. I opened up the Raichu boxes myself too. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, Matt, I did give you a bunch of Shining Legends in return. One of them had the uh, Rainbow Chew in it. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I suppose these I probably just won't sell just out of to be safe, I suppose. But they do look pretty good. They do look good. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Well... All right. Okay. All right. So, we had Robert who bought one in Fates pack for Rob as well. I don't know if Rob is still here, but let's open this for Robert or for Rob. Joe says, I'm happy for you. Yeah, I got a shining you out of the bent pack. And Leaf Energy and the Gyarados. Okay. So, we got Gare Gare.
All right, so I'm pretty sure that Rob probably wouldn't care much about the Gyarados. So we're going to throw the Gyarados in the giveaway. Okay. So. He gave a choice for Ben Peck. I did. I did do that. All right. So here we go. He says you should open up and give away before the raffle. Angel, I never thought about that. But anyways, we got a whole smorgasbord of packs as well as the Blossom. All right. The Trump tampered with. <laughs> See, I have no clue. That was very weird. That was very, very weird. All right. So, guys, tons of cool stuff in this giveaway. Listen, what you can do with that Shining Mew? Matt, I am going to sell it to recoup the cost of all those Shining Legends packs I have to just rip through. <laughs> okay, so let me set up the giveaway, guys. Two things need to happen. One, you need to be subscribed to the channel. And secondly, you do need to fill out the form when I send the link. Rob says, wait, wait. Oh, Rob, you're here. Rob, do you want the Gyarados that you pulled? <laughs> so, Rob, let me know. If you want that Gary that you pulled, I can give it to you. Matt says, I'll buy. Talk to me. Uh, let me see. So, Matt, check it out. So, there is a little white dot up there. So, definitely not worth grading. So, Matt, if you are serious about the Mew, it does have a little white dot. You can see right up here. So not really worth grading. So, yeah. So I guess I just plan on selling that on TCG Player because that is definitely not gradable uh, with that little white dot up there. Tuss so has got a bunch of sharks in chat. Alright, so let me just fill out, or let me uh, set up the Google form. This is all DM. Okay, Matt, you got it. I got a bunch of bot accounts, uh, giveaway good 100. <laughs> So, b right. thank you so much for putting in that Blossom. That is huge. So, guys, like I said, two things that you need to do to be entered into this giveaway. Firstly, you got to be subscribed to the channel because I will check if you are subscribed. If the winner isn't subscribed, we'll just pick a new winner. I should have come back to stream now. I'm bummed that the Ben Pack had a Mew in it. Rob says, I had a few giveaway. I got you. Yeah, Rob, I just didn't think you'd really want the Gyarados. The Gyarados GX. But if you want to rob, I got you, brother. All right, so links coming in. Like I said, two things. One, you got to be subscribed to the channel. And secondly, you got to fill out the link. So for the link, just put your YouTube username. That is all. I think I missed something. I was playing Waifu Collector. <laughs> so, Grand Demi, when I get back on vacay, I'll ship to you guys some beef jerky. Yo, Mitsu, thank you, dude. That'd be awesome.
Matt says, yes, Matt, we can. Give me one sec. Let me grab your stuff. So guys, that link is up, so make sure you guys fill that out. Matt, let's take a look at your hits. Okay, so Matt, I actually have another bag for you. Give me one sec. <laughs> I only grabbed one. So, Matt. Okay, so banned. Banned, nice. So, the banned cards, you should definitely grade without a doubt. But the problem really is, though, Matt, is that Express is super expensive. So, especially with vintage stuff, what I would say is, honestly, it might be more worth it to bulk them, to be quite honest. We got amazing with $10 dice for everyone in the community that needs help with shipping. They're amazing foods, brother. Rumor has it that you have amazing food. <laughs> so anyways, so like I was saying, Matt, with the vintage stuff, because express grading is so expensive, if a vintage card is going to be like $300 and a 10, then you minus like, you know, we'll just say like $80, $90 for the express grading. You, you know, that really drops down the margin down by almost a third, right? So with the vintage stuff, honestly, unless it's super expensive, so unless it's like a T17 or a Lugia, you know, I would just say bulk it, to be quite frank. Uh, just because over time, it's probably a good chance that the cards will go up because they're vintage and super old. And really, there's no rush to get your cards back, if that makes sense. Unless you really want them, you know what I'm saying? But if your plan is to sell them, then, you know what I mean? Because I think, like, the Feraligator might be, like, 300 or 400, but, you know, if you're going to spend almost $100 to get it graded, then that's really cutting into your margins, you know what I mean? So you don't have anything, like, over thousand dollars like the t17 or the lugia so that's kind of what i would say for you definitely would suggest grading them they're all packed fresh they should all be graded no matter what in my opinion but i would suggest the bulk option just because it's cheaper in a year's time when you get them back they might even be worth more right like that's pretty much what we've seen with a lot of these cards so yeah so i guess that's kind of that's kind of what it is unfortunately Right. Someone asked, how much is CGC? Uh, well, okay, so if you're getting subgrades, it's not that cheap. If you're getting subgrades, it's definitely not that cheap. 
Um, but yeah, and CGC is about to raise their prices. The prices that I offer, I'm actually teamed up with. It's uh, they're called Bo uh, um, Monkey Gaming. Basically, I'm teamed up with them to do CGC grading. Um, and since the price increase, I'll have to double check with them with Clay to see what's up. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's take a look. Let me send that link one more time. So guys, just make sure that you fill out that form and you are subscribed and let's pick the winner. He says, for all the money, the super chat's taken from you, brother. <laughs> Main foods, thank you so much, friend. For all the money, super chat taken from all right. Your boss and what I'm going to do is... So make the food. Let's just quickly see what you have. one you see his c17 and pull okay i'm like come on i'm being annoying <laughs> i think i spent like five hours of my day okay here's sorry here's it okay yeah so amazing foods let me know you want to give them a champ away to matt right that's what it was no sorry i was just really far away from the mic Okay, so Green, let's take a look. So yeah, so Green, I mean realistically yeah, I'd say the same thing to you, Green. Is the T seventeen definitely needs should or would definitely be acceptable to express grade. But similar to the other ones, I just think if you express grade them it'll take too much out of the value, right? I guess this is an Oreo, the box break. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, agree. I'm not quite sure what you were asking. Um, but truthfully, they should all be graded because they are all pack fresh. No one's going to pay you um, as much money as will be worth when it comes back graded in a PSA slab. They are all straight from the pack. The problem is, is that if you express grade them, that's going to take away like a third of the margin of the card, right? So same thing I said to Matt, same thing I would apply to you is the T17. That makes sense because if it pulls a 10, it's like a grand over a grand. Do you have anything else there, though, that is a 10? Oh, okay. Okay, so your Meganium is actually very good. Wow. Okay, so your Meganium is actually very good. That one could probably pull a 10. Actually, ooh, the front's good, but the back, not so much. So check it out. Your front centering is very, very good. And your back, it's thicker here. So on the back, this side is thinner. That's thicker. But PSA does look at the front more than the back. So this one's kind of a toss-up. This one is definitely a strong 10 or a strong 9. So possibly a 10 or a 9 on your Meganium. Then you got your Togetic, which the centering on the front is actually very good again. 
And on the back, it's actually not bad either. Okay, so the Togetic's actually very good. Nice. Okay, Togetic, Togetic, very, very good. Now, your Kingdra, that's not that great. Your Kingdra is looking more like a 9. It's slanted. So it gets thicker as it goes down, and it gets thicker as it goes up. Ooh, the back's terrible. Okay, so Kingdra, definitely not a 10. Then you got your Steelix, which is actually very thin here as well, and thick here. And back, same story. So these are... So actually, it's more like this. This one's probably going to be a 10. That one's debatable. These will probably be 9s. And your band card... Actually, not bad either. This one is a little bit... Definitely a little bit thicker here as well. So this one would be interesting as well. But these three I definitely have the best chance out of 10. Was everything shipped? I mean... Um, was other stuff shipped then? No, green. They're all going to go together. They're all going to go together. Nick, what's up, brother? He says, damn, I totally forgot to buy a pack uh, for this one. Nick, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, we already opened them all. Uh, yeah, so green, this is all going to go together. I'm going to ship it to you priority. So green, I'm going to send it to you in a, in a flat rate. So it should get there pretty quick. But yeah, green, I decided not to because really there was no point because we had the box break today. <laughs> Pets, it's so much fun tonight, man. Thanks for the hot pulls. Yo, Pat, thanks for being in the break, man. Thanks for being in the break. But yeah, so green, I'm going to ship everything tomorrow. Everything tomorrow. I thought to myself, I was like, why would I do that if I could just ship it all together? So. Okay. And the Machamp is going over to Matt. Okay, just 16 only. Thanks so much. Yeah, so green, hopefully what I said makes sense, right? Because if you express grade it, that takes a huge, huge chunk out of the price when it comes back. Because you got to realize that's, an, that's a cost as well, you know? Did you pull a Typhlosion or Lugia? That's what I'll... Yes, Nick. We pulled three of each, actually. Three of each. Out of last night, that's... Yeah, of course. Dubstep, thanks for being a part of the break, man. Okay, so Matt. Machamp from CP6 going over to you, my friend. All right, so let's go to, let's pick the winner because we had a long night today. Just as we've done, yes, Taylor, we are done. We had a huge stream before this for the Neo Genesis box break. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we are done. But I will send you guys that giveaway link one more time. So feel free to join in on that giveaway because we're about to pick the winner. We're about to pick the winner. So guys, feel free to join. All right, so you guys got like 10 seconds to join if you have it. Okay, so here we go. And actually, because there's as many, we got to, I think, let's see. Yep. Okay, Keith, you were first. Who says so, someone put in spin again? All right, I like that. I like that. Spin again, huh? I do that every time. Let's put some spin agains in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. We got a lot of spin against. Soccer works hard for us. We got to bring it back for the brother. You amazed me. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Save me as a file on my computer. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> spin again equals gift to dead man. All right, here we go. Good luck. All right. Will it be? Oh. 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 And it's Edwin. Judy, that was close. 
Judy. That was super, super close. All right, our main squeeze, Edwin. Nice win, dude. Edwin, this was a huge, huge giveaway. Huge, huge, huge giveaway, Edwin. Very, very nice. Judy's like, oh my god. I know, Judy, that was close. All right, so Edwin, not only do you take home some singles, you also get a pack fresh Blossom from our Neo Genesis box break, and you get all these packs. So Edwin, good luck. Karen was close again below. Wait, really, Karen was close? Usually I check Karen's name, but I didn't do that today. Edwin's like, let's go. Pile of sand and a Cosmog. Okay, so Edwin, if any night to win, tonight was definitely a good night. <laughs> That's like I'm on the other side. Karen says I'm losing my touch. Karen, what happened? Karen, you were you were the undefeated defeated. And we got the Hound Doom. Alright, we got two Evos coming up for you too, Edwin. It ain't over yet. And we got a Charizard, Mewtwo. All right, second Evos. Oh, we got something. Nice. Charizard EX out of the Evos. Nice, dude. Very, very nice. All right, here we go. One Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum Gold. Tracy says, good night. Thank you for the streams. Tracy, good night. Thank you for hanging around. Parlor. Oh, and a red eyes. Nice. Okay, Edwin. Fire, dude. Fire, fire, fire. Very, very nice. Ooh. Okay, so Edwin. Very, very nice, my friend. You get all that loot. Edwin, nice. Tara says it's been a great stream. Tara, thanks for being here. All right. Red Eyes is Shiny Charge's cousin. <laughs> okay, so Edwin, very, very, very nice. Let's slide these into this bag. So guys, I have a massive amount of shipping to get done. So I'm probably just going to start shipping massively tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I've resorted to using these little baggies right here. <laughs> so guys. Oh, hold on. That's not good. So, guys, thank you guys all for tuning in tonight. Absolutely legendary streams. We had a Japanese Neo Genesis box break as well as some pretty cool cards after that. So, guys, as always, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Absolutely had some fire, fire pulls tonight. Three Lugias, three Typhlosions. Couldn't ask for a better box. But, guys, it is pretty late, so I do got to head off. And as always, if you guys need to reach out to me, feel free to message me on Discord. As always, guys, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Peace out, fam.